The programming language for Microsoft Power BI, as well as for NLC services and Power Pivot for Excel is DAX, which stands for Data Analysis Expressions. DAX was created in 2010. In this video, I will start introducing DAX and use it to create a date table. In this Power BI file, I have two tables in the data model. Those are related by a strong relationship. In this video, I will create one more table, but by using a DAX function. DAX is a functional language. Every expression is a function call. It resembles the Excel formula language, but there is no concept of a cell. DAX works only on tables and columns. DAX has more than 200 functions like Excel, and some functions return scalar values and some return tables. The function that we will use now will return a date table. To create a new table in a data model by using a DAX code, I will go to the date view and in the home and then new table. It can be done from the report view as well. Well, first I will give a name to the table. Let's call it date one because I want to create another table as well, date related. And in a data model, you can't have two tables having the same name. Well, there are two functions in DAX to create a date table. That is a calendar and calendar auto. I will show both of them how they are working. Let's start with the calendar, double click. And here we have two mandatory parameters. That is a start date and end date. You can enter hard numbers as well, but I will use another function, date function, that is working in the same way like Excel. And then I'm sure that I'm entering the dates correctly. Like year, month, month, close parentheses, comma. The second parameter, use the date. Again, 2021, 12, 31st, close parenthesis, close parenthesis, and hit enter. So function generated a table containing one column that is called date and that contains uh, the date type values. Let's use another function now. Click on the new table again. Call it date two, and I've used, I will use the calendar auto. And here we have we don't have any mandatory parameters. We have only one optional one, and that is used in that case when the fiscal year end of the company does not follow the calendar year. Then you will enter here the month that is the fiscal year end for that company. If it follows the calendar year and ends in December, we don't have to enter anything, just close the parentheses and hit enter. Well, we got again a table with one column. Well, calendar auto function generates a list of dates taking into account all date type columns in the model. And here we do have a table, sales data, contains the date type of the column. So all these dates that we created in the calendar auto based on these dates. If we update these dates and they will be changed, they will be changed in the calendar auto automatically as well. So it is a quite handy and quick way to create a date table. But please pay attention when you have two date type of columns in the main table or in the data model, then be sure that it is based on the correct column. Or in that situation, maybe it's wiser to just use the calendar and manage the start and end dates by yourself. But if you have a simple data model containing one date table, like one date column like this, calendar auto is a good option. You can ask, why do we need to create a dedicated ta date table in the data model when we already have the column in the main table? Well, to have a dedicated date table in the data model is a very good practice. And let's have it from the beginning. Even if you don't have 
enough tables in a data model and you don't really need it, you will need it in the future when you add more tables there. Then you will relate all your other tables to this main date table and every time you will make a visualization for the date visualization for filtering by date you will always use the dedicated date table and everything will be in line. I will move, uh, move this date table here with my lookup tables and this one that was created by the calendar I don't need it I don't need two date tables in a data model so I will delete it delete it and you must make sure that this date table is is marked as a date table and actually by default they are marked as the day table but it's good to double check it so I will click on that and then I will relate this table well it asks me the date this is a day table and okay so the data model knows that this is the date type of the column in the data model well now I will relate this one to the date column in this main table and I will just drag and drop it here and I will get the strong one to many relationship because the dates in this uh, date table they are only the unique numbers so they can be directly related. I will go to this table there now and I will add extra columns there. When you are more advanced at the DAX code, you can write a code directly there with the extra columns as well. But for this example, I will create them manually and it's uh, easier to see how they are working. Well, I will click on the new column and they are the calculated columns and I will call it year because for the filtering purposes when I want to use it for the reporting I want it by years by months by weeks and so on and they are the dedicated functions for that actually that is the same that we have in Excel as well the function year and I will use this column for the year I will trigger it with the single quote and this is the column that I want the year function to be based and I will hit enter. I will create another column for the month. Call it month. The function month. So this date and time functions they resemble Excel date and time functions. Months use the same column this one hit enter I will create another column now the month color but I want to see not in numbers but in text and I will use the function format for that to convert numbers to text so new column months name and format and I will use uh, this column again date date and in the format I will say months This is working uh, like Excel as well and this is case sensitive. I have entered in um, three M's so I got um, the January if I enter four times I will get the full number. Well, I can use this column as well for the visualizations. Once we have a day table here with uh, several columns and we, I have this day table related to the main table, 
I can create some visualizations already. So let's go to the report view and make some simple visualization. I will choose the column from the main table. I have kilos here, so let's drag and drop here on the canvas and it will automatically create a bar chart. And for the axis, I will use the mass from the date table. So put it there. And here I have the sales by mass. But for the future to make it correct, I must have the year slicer as well. But for these purposes, that is sufficient. You can see that um, I have the mass here. They not they are not visible all of them, so you can change it as well when you have the visualization selected. You can go to the formatting, to the axis instead of continuous choose the categoric well this is not uh, categorized base of the mass because it is base it is sort by kilograms so let's choose the mass for sorting and sort ascending and we have it by months now let's check if another column the months but in a text type will work for these visualizations. So instead of the this mass, I will use another one. Let's remove this and take this one. And let's check if the sort is by mass name. But you can see that it's not ordered in, it's not sorted in a correct way because it's a text format. And this does not know that uh, the first month that we want to use is January, but we can fix that. I will go back to the table. I will select this table and then from the column tools, I will go to the sort by column and click on the month. And if I go back, it is correct but it starts from December so I will click on the sort ascending and I have it in a correct way it starts from January and then in December so if you want to use the text instead of the month numbers you can format it as the text type and then sort by the month column and you will get it in the visualizations well, that was it for this video. I have created a date column by using the DAX code. I have added some calculated columns there and I've created a simple visualization on the canvas.